Hello and welcome to Squaresoft Presents. Secret of Evermore. Hi, I am your host, Renal Cole. And let's enter in our character's name, shall we? Let's see. Do, 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 do. So how you doing? I'm doing awesome. This is my first Let's Play, and I'm pretty juiced. Let's see how well this works. Oh, no. There we go. We start in a small town of Podunk, USA. Joy of Joys. And apparently 1965. Fall. Now, I would skip past all this stuff, but A, I'd like to let you guys know the story if you've never heard of this game before, and B, if you wade through it all, you get a bazooka. Adventures of Loxley. At the Bijou Theater. And Al's Barbershop with a cat licking itself. Joy of joys. Anyway. Smith's Hardware. With a sale. Ooh, and 50% off on a hat. At a hardware store. And an experiment. Now, when I first played through this game, the shadows confused the hell out of me. Because I didn't realize that that was just a shadow on some steps. And I thought it was some very, very strange architecture. But I figured it out. It took a couple years, but I figured it out. And I don't know what the giant eyeball sphere thing is, but might be a universe, might not. But we're apparently prepared to be a part of history. With a twist of a knob there, and a flip of the switch here. Wait a minute. That ain't right. And a giant explosion occurs. Thirty years later, the lost adventures of of Vex, and apparently a descendant of the cat. Here's our hero, me, and apparently he watched a strange ass movie. <laughs> a punch of tires in the garden hose. I love that part of them, this game where the character just makes these random ass attributes. Anyway, our dog is going to go hauling ass after some cat. And we will be chasing him. How the dog can do that is beyond me. Just be chasing a cat and then just pull a straight 90 degree turn and run into a random building. I Maybe I don't know animals, but just seems like a dumb dog to me. Or has bad ADD. Let's see. We're looking for our dog now. I actually have absolutely no control, so you know. I'm mostly just wading through a, a scene. We heard some goop. I don't know if the sound's recording right, but we found a mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal. How the balloon animal would still be inflated after 30 years, beyond me. But apparently a wall panel is kind of loose, and we found a secret entrance. Joy of joys. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's see, what do we got now? Oh shit! Our dog hopping across a room, and we get to check out this awesome thing that looks like a PZS plasma drive in when consonants collide. Huh. Standing in a dramatic pose and everything suddenly turning on. And here's the dog who's going to chew on some electric wires. Why th this this dog in all likelihood should have died long time ago. But, instead it just gets teleported to who the fuck knows where. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse. We'll find out shortly enough. 
when this movie goes up. But here I appear. I, I'm like Freakazoid. And it, it's kind of reminded me of it on the, uh, the, tr uh, the commercial for this. Uh, the, the character gets uh, launched into space after his dog activates it. I might make... I might edit that in and replace this. Who knows? I might keep it both. Anyway, here is Douchebag, douchebag McGee. Uh, the evil butler, if there ever was one. And I very well might get to do something shortly. Joy of joys. Here is the doctor. But we don't get to see very much of him at the moment. Instead, we get shoved into an escape pod. Hooray. I think I'm at six or seven minutes. I'll try and get to Prehistoria and move on. Now what? I actually have control now, as you can see. Uh, there's the status ring. Apparently all it shows is status, our action bars, controls, weapon levels, etc. And now we're going to pull a straight up Legend of Zelda. Do 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 do. I got a bazooka. Told you I wasn't lying. Oh shit. Uh, whenever you fire a swing, you get the wonderful cooldown. But apparently stealing a bazooka activates evil things. Evil things of death. Oops. That hurt. Take that, you vile fiend. Boo. I think you only have like five shots. I, I counted at one point, but that was years ago. And at the point you run out, you just, uh. Uh. You could start swinging with it like a club. But I just blew those guys up and, uh. Do a glorious victory pose. And this kid willfully hops into an escape pod, and here's his dog, but cannot see him, apparently. I'm not really going to read it, because really, everything this kid says is about as intelligent as... I have no clue. I'm really bad at analogies, folks. Uh, if you want, uh, fill in your own. You're more than welcome. Uh hell, it might become a reoccurring theme, but I hope not. Here we get this spiral downward into a pit of despair called the Evermore. Anyway, I think I'm going to call that it for this video. Uh, we'll see if it works out. If not, I guess I'm going to have to record this again. Uh, next time on Let's Play, I actually do something. <laughs>